Hello everyone, my name is Maxler Football. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And you will recognize a similar theme in this video if you did watch my past one that I uploaded yesterday in which we created a team of U19 and 19 year old footballers who were all worth the most in the world according to their market value decided by transfer market so i decided we continue that theme but today we're not going to actually be focusing on the squad we're going to be focusing on a large group of goal scorers who are the greatest ever in women's football history and each player featured in this video will have scored over 100 international goals and i hopefully this can give you an insight to the world of women's football if you haven't been a fan of that for a while as you guys know i'm a huge usmnt fan and i've been supporting them for years so these are a couple of the top scorers who all have over 100 goals and if you're not subscribed already with notifications on and you're super excited to see content similar to this video be sure to also drop a like down below and check out the last one if you haven't seen it because it'll give you a good introduction to this sort of new style of videos that i'm going to be creating in the future and yeah this video will mainly focus on these players who some of them you may know and some of them you might not know because there are surprisingly a large amount of players that I think that the average football fan would not know. Even if you watch the World Cup, the Olympics, a lot of these players have scored over 100 goals and you may never even heard of them. So hopefully I can teach you a great deal about each player and let me know if you have any other video suggestions for this sort of topic, which player or record breaking moment or record breaking team would you like to see surrounding in the next topic of a video that I cover with this editing style as well. And if you want to see the ratings with the FIFA cards, like in last video, there won't be any in this video. But if you want to see those in the future upcoming videos on my YouTube channel, please let me know down below and with a comment. And that will truly mean the world to me. Let me know if you want to talk about anything in there as well. And the thoughts on this video, everything is appreciated. Positive feedback, what can I improve on? And without any further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and learning about some amazing women footballers. The first player that we will be highlighting today is Tiffany Milbritt from the nation of the United States. And she scored 100 goals in her international career, having played 206 games for our nation. And she scored a ratio of 0.49 per match. And her career lasted from 1991 to 2006. And the international goals is what we're going to be focusing on today. So even though I put the clubs played for those club goals will not be counted in the tally as we're only focusing on goal scored in international plays as I said before but i thought it'd be quite interesting for you guys to see the clubs that they all played for since some of them are really well known and some of them aren't as well known as the others so it's really cool to highlight that as well and the photo will always be on the left of the player and some amazing facts about tiffany milbritt is that when the wusa soccer league was founded here in the united states she became a founding member of new york power and was league's mvp as well as the offensive player of the year and she scored the first hat trick ever in the league when they beat the boston breakers three to one so the breakers previously were the last remaining wusa team in existence but they actually got folded in 2018 and i actually did a video on that regarding that news statement and yeah, they finished eighth in the league that year, the New York Power, and she is just such an amazing forward, such an eye for goal, really pacey, well played with both feet, and she's also been a member of three U.S. teams in the World Cup with Sweden in 1995, at home in 1999, U.S. 2003, and she's been a part of two Olympics in Atlanta in 1996 and at Sydney in 2000. And she played 28 games and scored 12 goals in all of those major global tournaments. And she is a gold medalist as well as a World Cup champions. And the three other tournaments that we played in with her in it were all third place finishes. So Tiffany Bobrit is a great player to start out with and one of the famous 99ers, of course, with our victory in the penalty shootout against China. 
Our next player is Han Duan, who played for the nation of China and scored 101 goals in 188 appearances for them, and she had a goals per match ratio of 0.54 in a career that lasted from 2000 to 2011, and she played for one club during her career, which was the Los Angeles Soul, and scored three goals and had two assists for the club, and she played for them in 2009. And Duan finished ninth with the Chinese team in the 2004 Athens Olympics, in which she played two games during the group stage. And in 2008 Olympics in Beijing, their home city of the nation, she scored a goal for China in the group stage, resulting in a 2-1 win over Sweden. And she also failed to qualify for the Olympics with the Chinese national team in 2012, which is actually an interesting fact, and it led her to retire before that because of that. Our next player that we will be talking about is Portia Modis, who is from the nation of South Africa and scored 101 goals for them in 124 appearances and had a goal to game ratio of 0.81. And her career lasted from 2000 to 2005. She's currently 36 years old and was actually the first African player to score 100 in international goals, men or women. So that is an amazing fact. And I'm sure many African viewers, if I have any, will definitely know who this player is and she was named player of the championship in the 2006 women's african football championship and she also represented south africa in the 2012 london olympics and she's played for a numerous amount of clubs and was normally comfortable in a midfield and forward role and was actually named bastion after the male footballer albert bastion malungu and she scored 51 goals it is rumored we don't have a 100 percent record on this i couldn't really find one for soweto ladies and she scored two in the national championship final win over the cape town pirates so she mainly stayed throughout her career in south africa and she's also been a coach for the orlando pirates for a short amount of time with their academy so Orlando Pirates is a club, possibly the most famous one in South Africa for the men, if you know and play FIFA, because they're quite popular on the game as well. Moving on, our next player is Carolina Morace for the nation of Italy, and she scored 105 goals in 150 appearances, and her goals per match ratio is 0.69, and her career lasted from 1978 to 1997, so definitely one of the pioneers of women's soccer throughout the world, and was such a prolific goal scorer. Those are some of the clubs that she played for, and one of the most amazing facts about her is that she was the top scorer in the women's Serie A from 1984 to 1985 that season and then 11 consecutive years in a row from 1987 to 88 season and all the way to 97 98 season she scored the top amount of goals for each single season so that's a crazy fact she's also a lawyer and after she retired she managed lazio and also the national team for her country from 2000 to 2005 and the Canadian women's team from 2009 to 2011. And she was also the first woman to be inducted into the Italian Football Hall of Fame in 2014. And yeah, it is crazy the amount of goals she scored. On the screen, it says that there are registered 415 goals, but there are lots of sources which say that she has scored more than 550 goals in the women's Serie A. And she's also took part in six European championships as well as the first Women's World Cup in 1991. And she scored four goals and scored the first ever hat trick at a World Cup in their five nail win over Chinese Taipei. So she is just an absolutely amazing icon in Italy. And I'm sure if we have any Italian viewers over here, that would be very amazing. And I'd be interested to know how many Italian football fans actually have heard of Morace since she is one of the best players to ever grace Italy. Our next player is one of the most famous icons in all of women's football. Her name is Soon Wen, and she is from China, and she has scored 106 goals in 163 appearances, and her goals per match ratio is 0.69, and her career lasted from 1990 to 2006. And Soon Wen is just an absolute legend in all aspects 
of football since she appeared on the national team at the age of 17 and featured in four Women's World Cup tournaments for China and became one of the three women who have actually played all of China's 15 matches in three World Cup appearances. And in 1999, she had 10 goals in her World Cup career and she is tied in second place for the all-time scoring list for that tournament. And in 1991, 93, 95, and 97, she won the Asian Cup with China in each occasion. And she also led them to a silver medal in the 1996 Summer Olympics in Athens, Georgia. And during the 99 World Cup, she scored seven goals and earned the golden ball and golden boot at the tournament. So that is just pure domination at the highest level. And she returned to the Chinese women's national team from a two-year retirement on December 15th, 2005. But since she had injury complications, she retired after they won another AFC Women's Asian Cup in 2006. And she's played 28 matches and scored 16 goals in four World Cups, two Olympics. And she has started every single one of those matches for China. And she's gotten a second place medal at a World Cup and a silver medal in the Olympics. And she is definitely, most likely, the most famous Chinese footballer of all time. Our next player is another Italian by the name of Patrizia Panico, and she has scored 107 goals in 196 appearances and has goals per match ratio of 0.55 and a career that lasted for a very, very long time from 1996 to 2014. And she is actually the current manager of the Italy under 16 national team. And she is one of the most prolific goal scorers in Italian history. And she has been a captain of her side for many games and has played in the 1997, 2001, 2005, 2009, and 2013 UEFA Women's Championship and also played at the 1999 Women's World Cup. And her career for a club lasted more than two decades. She's won 10 Serie A, five Coppa Italia, with her various amount of clubs and she has been Syria's top scorer on 14 occasions which is the record for the women's league and also during 2010 she spent her time in the United States with what do we know Sky Blue FC our club over in New Jersey for our country and she's also nicknamed the Scorpion because of her deadly goal scoring ability and she has scored 647 goals for a club. That is absolutely amazing. But the most being for Lazio, 191 in 209 appearances. And her ratio from 2009 to 2014 with Club Torres is absolutely insane because she only played 134 games but scored 175 goals. So that is just an amazing stat to think about there. And another Italian who makes the top scoring list. Our next player is definitely the most famous women's footballer in the entire world, and it is none other than Alex Morgan. I'm sure you know her, who doesn't? She plays for the United States, of course, and has scored 107 goals and has had 169 caps to her name and a goals per match ratio of 0.63 with a career that started in 2010 and has not retired since that year. And what can I say about Alex Morgan? She's just so amazing as a player and person on and off the pitch, just sublime at literally everything she does. Her husband as well is also a professional footballer by the name of Servano Carrasco, who has played for LA Galaxy and Orlando City. And they recently had a daughter named Charlie on May 7th. So congratulations to both of them. And Alex is literally so good at everything. She has a book, she has a movie, she featured in Maroon 5's Girls Like You video with a bunch of other celebrities as well, and she is just known for literally everything, not even just soccer. Multi-talented person. And my favorite moments with Alex definitely are the every time she's been in a World Cup, that was the best. But the best goal, I think, in my opinion, was definitely the one against Canada in late, almost stoppage time for us in the Olympics 2012 when we beat Canada. That was just one of the best moments. And throughout her career, I could just name so many. And she has won so many awards with the WPS Championship in 2011 with the Western New York Flash, who have now disbanded and have become North Carolina Courage, which is the most successful NWSL team in the past couple of years. And she has also won an NWSL Championship when the league rebanded into a new one in 2013. 
and she has won Division One Feminine with Leon in 2016. 2017 season she's won the league cup with them and the women's champions league as well in international she's got so many awards she got the olympic gold medal from 2012 world cup in 2015 2019 u20 world cup 2008 algarve cup 2011 2013 2015 which we actually haven't been playing in much because the algarve cup has kind of been tossed aside for the united states because we now are more invested in the She Believes Cup and Tournament of Nations. So that's basically a place the Algarve Cup and other nations play there instead. And they haven't broken into those tournaments because there's only four teams in those respectively. And she's also won the Four Nations Tournament in 2011. She Believes Cup, as I said before, 2016, 2018. That's another one of my favorite goals last minute from her against France. Absolutely amazing memory there. She's won the CONCACAF Women's Championship 2014, 2018. CONCACAF Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament 2012-2016. In 2016, she also had the fastest goal in the whole tournament's history with just eight seconds, I believe, against Costa Rica. That was amazing. And she's also won the ESPY Awards as well. And yeah, Silver Ball, Best Female Athlete. I can just name so many. U.S. Soccer Athlete of the Year, World Player of the Year finalist, Best FIFA Women's Player finalist. I can just go on and on and on with all the awards Alex has won, but that's just the main highlights of her career that I believe. And yeah, she definitely can score so many more goals throughout her career. And I'm just so excited to see her back on the field again after this entire situation is over. And best of luck to her with everything. I know she's going to get more goals for the United States. And I just can't wait to personally see her up top with Pino and Tobin and Mal and Press. We, we're just going to absolutely rock it when the Olympics returns. Our next player is Michelle Akers for the United States, and she is definitely one of my favorite retired players of all time. She's such a prolific and wonderful goal scorer. Everything about her game is brilliant, especially with her aerial presence with the height of 5'10", which is quite tall, and she can just do it all. Scoring with both feet, headers, power shots, finesse, everything you can name she can do it with 107 goals and 155 appearances she has goals per match ratio of 0.69 and a career that lasted for 15 years from 1985 to 2000 and the club she had the most appearances for was orlando lions women in which she had 320 appearances with 123 goals and i tried to find more data on the swedish club that she played for tyreso for a couple of years but I couldn't really find any reliable data and also it's in a different language too so I am not going to put any information that I'm not 100% sure of in this video and Akers is definitely regarded as one of the greatest female players of all time and she was named female FIFA player of the century in 2002 and she shared this award with Soon Wen who was previously featured in this video in 2004 Michelle Akers and Mia Hamm were the only two women to be named in the FIFA 100 which was a list selected by Pele as the 125 greatest living soccer players for FIFA's 100th anniversary. And she is also a member of the U.S. National Soccer Hall of Fame, and she was inducted in 2004 along with Paul Cagliari and Eric Winalda. And Eric Winalda has actually scored the first goal for Major League Soccer in the U.S. Men's National Team legend along with Cagliari. So that is a very cool fact to know as well. And she was also a member of the 1985 USWNT team for its first game, which was a tournament held in Italy in August. And because she had an ankle injury, she didn't play in the first game. But in the second ever international game for the US Women's she scored the first goal in the history of our program, which was a 2-2 tie against Denmark. And she scored 15 goals in 24 games for us from 1985 to 1990, and then went on to break a team record of 39 goals in 26 games for us in 1991. And in 1990 and 1991, she was named the Female Athlete of the Year by the USSF. And she was also the lead scorer in the inaugural FIFA Women's World Cup in 1991. And she scored 10 goals and five in one game against Taiwan. And this led us to win the first World Cup as we defeated Norway 2-1 in the final. And she scored both of them in the final. So obviously a huge big game player and can do absolutely amazing. And a notable fact about her positioning and playmaking, she actually shifted from a striker to a central midfielder because... She wanted to minimize the beatings that were put out by opposition defenders, and she suffered a concussion and a knee injury early in the 1995 World Cup, and that really did not help us as we lost in the semifinals to Norway. And she was a member again in 1996 for the Olympics, and we won our first ever gold medal there as well. And she played with an actual a horrible injury, a torn medial collateral ligament as she played holding midfield 
for us, so CDM in FIFA terms, and she dominated the air, playmaking out of the back, so really a versatile player, sort of like Crystal Dunn, who can play in multiple positions, and she had to have reconstructive surgery for the third time after this tournament, and was a member as well of the 1998 Goodwill Games team for the gold medal that. That's also very interesting. And on June 7th, 1998, she was awarded the FIFA Order of Merit, which is one of the highest honors you can actually get from FIFA because of her contribution to the game as a whole and the first woman to ever receive it. So she's just a pioneer in every single way. And she was a main leader and probably best known for her role in the 1999 World Cup. That is the most famous soccer event, definitely, since we won and beat China in the penalty shootout, as I said before. And she actually played with a dislocated shoulder, which was caused by a fan in the quarterfinals. And she was awarded the bronze ball at the end of the tournament. And she retired eventually after the 2000 Olympics due to injuries that kept reoccurring and was the national team's all-time leading scorer behind Mia Hamm with 105 goals. 37 assists and yeah acres is just a legend i could go on about her but we'll save that m talk for another video that will just feature only her the next goal scorer we will be featuring is elisabetta viginotto for the nation of italy and she has scored 107 goals in 110 appearances for them and she has a legendary goals per match ratio of 0 0.97 in a career that lasted from 1970 to 1989. And you're probably going and looking at that clubs played for list and saying, Maxler, why has she played for so many clubs? Well, I'm here to tell you. From a direct quote she stated in 1986 to the newspaper in Italy, La Repubblica, she said, so far I've changed teams 10 times, but it's not that I'm capricious the teams broke up. As you probably guessed during this time period of the early 70s to the late 80s, it was really hard for women's football leagues to stay established and funded. So all these teams kept disbanding and the players had no choice but to keep going to the next available team. But that didn't stop her from being the most prolific goal scorer in Serie A history with 467 goals and 461 appearances. And that is absolutely amazing. She was also the chairman previously of a couple of female clubs in Italy. And she had the goal scoring record for women's international matches until May 1999, when she was surpassed by Mia Hamm with her 108th goal. And she was also inducted into the Italian Football Hall of Fame in 2017 and has won the league so many times and the top scorer for Serie A five times as well. Our next player that we are going to feature is another player who is not retired yet and is just absolutely legendary it is marta from brazil and she has 108 goals and 154 appearances for her nation and a goals per match ratio of 0 0.7 and she has started her career in 2002 and what can i say about marta 17 goals in world cup history that's the record for the most goals scored in a world cup ever male or female and she's the first footballer of either gender as well to score in five different World Cups, which was only matched by Christine Sinclair recently in 2019. And she is regarded as one of the best players of all time. It's just simple as that. She's been named the FIFA World Player of the Year six times, and five of them were consecutive from 2006 to 2010, and her latest one was in 2018. She was a member of the national team that won the silver medal in the 2004 and 2008 Olympics and was awarded the Golden Ball at the 2004 FIFA U19 Women's World Championship and won the Golden Ball and the Golden Boot of the 2007 Women's World Cup after she led them to the final of the, the tournament. And in January 2013, she was actually one of the six ambassadors for the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil with other legends, Amarildo, Bebeto, Carlos Alberto, Ronaldo, and Mario Zagallo. And she also appeared in some documentary series in Sweden as well, and she was playing there in 2013. And in 2016 Olympics, she was one of the eight to carry the Olympic flag in Rio, obviously in her home country. And Marta has right now been playing for the Orlando Pride and is definitely one of their best players alongside Alex Morgan. However, in the league, they haven't been doing too well. And hopefully, if you're a Pride fan, they will continue to build a strong squad. But when NWSL returns, we'll see what we can do with a fully fit Marta and a fully fit Morgan leading the strike force. That's going to be brilliant to see. And Marta is definitely one of the most inspirational footballers as well as her speech after the World Cup loss with Brazil was just amazing. So if you haven't looked at that yet, 
you should go and check it out. This player will actually be the first player from the United Kingdom who will be featured in today's video, and it is Julie Fleeting from the nation of Scotland, and she has scored 116 goals in 121 appearances for her country, and she has had a career lasting from 1996 to 2011, and has played for quite an amount of clubs as well. And she was actually the first Scottish player to play full-time professionally for the WUSA for the San Diego Spirit, and she's won the Scottish Women's League with air and 17 major trophies with the Arsenal Women's National Team. She captained her country for eight years, and she has a record of 28 goals in 22 games for UEFA competitions and 22 goals in 32 games for UEFA club competitions with Arsenal. And she was actually awarded a Most Excellent Order of the British Empire from the Queen and was added to the Queen's birthday honors list, so that is really cool to know. She's also a multi-sport athlete and has represented Scotland in the sport of basketball. And her play style is very, very unique, and she is a very strong center forward, like a target man, in a particular role of a football. And she can play through the middle and is really big and strong and wins everything in the air, really similar to Wambach, who we're going to be talking about later in this video. And she has a really good ability to score goals in just out of nothing, creating chances, really good header of the ball, and strong at finishing. And she's technically very knowledgeable, as stated by manager Anna Signal. And she's definitely one of the most technical players in the Scottish side, along with one of my other favorite women's footballers, Kim Little. So it's glad to see them together when they were playing at the same time and fleeting is just so talented and everything of course basketball player and mb medalist as well and you can't go wrong with the 0 0.96 goals per match ratio our next player is yet again another American, and I need to control myself on how long I talk about each one of our U.S. players because you know me, I could go on about this literally forever, but we will have a video that focuses just on American players and all the icons in each position, so if you haven't left a like on the video and subscribed to notifications on and you want to see that as well upcoming, I will definitely get that out for you. But we're here to talk about Carly Lloyd for the United States, of course, with 123 goals in 294 appearances, and she has a goals per match ratio of 0 0.42. Obviously, this is a little bit lower of a ratio compared to the others as well, because she has played defensive mid, center mid, and attacking mid throughout her career, and just a very versatile player overall. So she doesn't play striker all the time, hence why she doesn't score too many goals. And you can see she's played for a bunch of clubs for us in the United States. And she is a two-time Olympic gold medalist as she's won it for us in 2008 2012. And she scored both goals in the 2012 final against Japan. And she's a two-time World Cup champion 2015-2019. And she's won the Player of the Year 2015 and 2016. Three-time Olympian 2008, 2012, and 2016. And she scored the winning goals in the 2008 Summer Olympics in the 2012, as I said before, and she helped us win our titles in both of those World Cups and played in the 2011 World Cup as well when we finished in second place and lost to Japan. And she's made so many appearances for us, over 290, as I stated before, and that is third in all-time caps for our team and the fourth most in goals and seventh most assists. And obviously, I have to speak about the 5-2 win over Japan in our 2015 Women's World Cup Final. She became the first player ever to score three goals in a Women's World Cup Final, and the second player to score a hat-trick in any senior World Cup Final. The only other player to do it previously was Sir Charles Hurst. And Lloyd scored three goals in the first 16 minutes, and I can just remember watching that. That was absolutely legendary, and the first two were in the five minutes of the game beginning and three minutes within each other. And she received the golden ball as the best player of the tournament and earned the silver boot for six goals and one assist as well. And yeah, she's a longtime veteran of the WPS and NWSL. And she's also wrote a book when nobody's watching, which I have right behind me and it's sitting in my room. So it is a really cool book. I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a good soccer biography. And that is also another video I should make the best books and biographies relating to football or soccer. So Lloyd is just absolutely legendary and there are most likely 
rumors of her retiring after the Olympics. But since that got postponed, we don't know what's going on. But Carly Lloyd, similar to Ibrahimovic, age is just a number for both of them. And they just keep scoring goals and playing legendary at literally every place they go to. So I'm just so excited to see Lloyd. And I'm interested to see what role she plays under Vlatko Andonovsky too. Will he keep her a striker? Will he start her? Will he put her back in the midfield? Time will only tell what is next for the Queen Carly Lloyd. Our next player is the first and only player from the nation of Germany, and it is Birgit Prinz, who scored 128 goals in her 214 appearances for her nation. She has a ratio of 0.6 goals per match, and her career lasted from 1994 to 2011. And she is definitely the best Germans women's football player of all time and is the second FIFA Women's World Cup all-time leading scorer with 14 goals second only to Marta as I said before in this video with her 17 and she is actually the sport psychologist for the men's and women's team of Bundesliga club Hoffenheim so she's really smart and is the reason behind some tactics at Hoffenheim and as you know Hoffenheim has great players such as Kramerich Bell Faudel, all these guys are super, super good. And Hoffenheim is quite a solid club in the Bundesliga. So it's super cool to see her being involved in football still. And she has had a lot of individual and international accolades with Frankfurt starting off. She won the Bundesliga German Cup twice for them in the 90s. And she's won the UEFA Women's Cup for them. Bundesliga with FFC Frankfurt. So there's two teams for women's football in Frankfurt, FSV and FFC. She's won the German Cup with FFC eight times as well. And the Carolina Courage in the WUSA, she was the champion of that as well in 2002. International, she has won two World Cups and has been a runner-up. She won in 2003 with Germany, 2007, and was runner-up in 1995. And the UEFA European Championship, she has won it five times in 1995, 97, 2001, 2005, and 2009. And is a three-time Olympics bronze medalist in 2000, 2004, and 2008. And she's won the Algarve Cup once in 2006. And she has been the FIFA World Player of the Year three times in three consecutive years, 2003, 2004, 2005. And she's been the runner-up for it five times 2002 2007 2008 2009 and 2010 so she's just so good winning all these awards she's been the german player of the year eight times as well as a championship golden player for uefa in 1995 and she is also the second all-time goal scorer in the women's football for the olympics and with 10 goals second to brazil's cristiani and she's the golden ball winner in 2003 and also the top scorer and then the all-star team for that as well and won the silver ball in 2007 world cup as well as the all-star team too and she's the top scorer in the bundesliga four times so that is quite an achievement list for Birgit Prinz, and it's so cool to see that she's still working in the bundesliga close to her country our next player is another american by the name of christine lily and she is just insane in every single way so good well-rounded player and she's got 130 goals and 354 appearances she's actually the most capped international footballer in history of the whole sport men's or women's and she received her last cap in november 2010 against mexico and she has a goals per match ratio of 0 0.37 in a career that lasts from 1987 to 2010 so 23 years unbelievable spent most of her time with her clubs in the united states and also in sweden with tyreso and she made her debut for us in 1987 two years after we played our first game and she was still in high school at this time and during her career she surpassed the previous record for 151 caps which was held by heidi store on may 21st 1998 that was the women's record for caps and she surpassed the men's world record for caps of 164 held by adnan el taliani from the united arab emirates and she participated in five world cups 1991 95 99 2003 and 2007 
and she's a two-time champion, winning in 1991 and 1999, and during extra time of the 99 final, this is one of the most defining moments in our nation's history in terms of football. She stood on the goal line and blocked a Chinese shot, which would have gotten past Brian Scurry, our goalkeeper, and since the tournament took place with the golden goal effect, we survived that, and we won the shootout, and she scored the goal that would give us the lead in that. And when she played against North Korea in 2007, she became the first woman and third player overall to dis participate in five different World Cup finals. And that is amazing. And she's also the oldest woman to score in the World Cup when she scored against England in September 22, 2007. She's also completed in three Olympics, and she won a gold medal in 1996 and 2004. And she won a silver medal in 2000. And she missed the 2008 Olympics because she had a child. And unlike a lot of her teammates, you'll probably be thinking about why she didn't retire in the farewell tour, which is when like Fawcett, Julie Foudy, Mia Hamm, all those huge names retired in 2004 after the Olympics when we won that. And she just wanted to continue to keep going because her career was so long already. And it, she wouldn't have been the most capped player and by such a large margin if she didn't continue for those six years. And she made a 300 international appearance against Norway in 2006. And she equaled Michelle Akers for second place on the all-time goal scoring list with 105. And she was a finalist for 2006 Women's World Player of the Year. And she finished second in the voting to Marta. And she returned after the birth of her daughter to the national team in 2008. And her last match was a World Cup qualifying loss to Mexico in 2010, as I stated before at the beginning. And she has competed in five World Cups, as I said before, three Olympics. And she played 46 matches in those, scored 12 goals in those eight tournaments. And every time she has played in a game, there have been 39 wins, three losses, and four draws. So definitely a good luck charm. And she's also Alex Morgan's inspiration on the pitch and that is why Morgan likes number 13 so much because Lily wore it first and there's have been a couple of interviews together and they just the chemistry between those two is, is truly amazing. We have now entered the top three of our list today and I hope you're enjoying the video because it's certainly been a long one and I put a lot of effort into it doing all the research as well as digging up some prior knowledge that I had to make this video. So I hope you've all been enjoying it. And I hope you were able to learn some more about some of the greatest women's footballers of all time. And if we're talking about the greatest women's footballers of all time, Mia Hamm has to be mentioned. For us, she has scored 158 goals and 276 appearances with a ratio of 0 0.57 and a career that lasts from 1987 to 2004 and she has scored 25 goals for the Washington Freedom in 49 appearances as well and she is just an icon a literal icon and she was just the face of the WUSA when it first was the soccer league in the United States the main one and she played for the Freedom in that and college soccer I have to bring that up with her we haven't talked about too much college in this video but North Carolina Tar Heels is the most successful women's soccer team in terms of college in the world. And with Anson Dorrance leading the charge, she's one of the greatest footballing coaches in our country in terms of college especially. And she won four consecutive NCAA Division I Women's Soccer Championship titles. And she competed in four Women's World Cups, 1991, 95, 99, and 2003. And three Olympics as well, 1996, which is the first one that women's soccer was played in and 2000 and 2004 and she played 42 games in these and scored 14 goals in seven international tournaments and she previously held the record for most international goals scored by a woman or a man until 2013 and is now in third place behind the two who will be the next in this video and she's third in the history for caps in our team and first for assists with 144 so she can score an assist which is truly amazing and she was twice named the FIFA World Player of the Year in 2001 and 2002. And her and her teammate, Michelle Akers, as I said before, were both in the 125 Pele's FIFA list. And she was also named the U.S. Soccer Female Athlete of the Year for five years in a row and won three SB awards for female athlete and soccer player as well. And she's also been Sportswoman of the Year under the Women's Sports Foundation and is in the National Soccer Hall of Fame, Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, Texas Sports Hall of Fame, North Carolina Hall of Fame, and was the first woman inducted to the World Football Hall of Fame. So literally Hall of Fame everywhere. And she is also a co-owner of LAFC, as many of you know, the MLS team. 
And yeah, very successful as of recently, as you can tell, with Carlos Vela leading the charge. And she's also an ambassador for FC Barcelona and is on the board of directors for Serie A club AS Roma. And she has wrote a book as well. There's also behind me next to Carly's book, Go for the Goal, which is actually a very, very good book as well. And she's been in some movies and television shows. And yeah, she's just an icon in literally everything. We can make another video just dedicated to her because she truly paved the way for a woman's soccer in the United States. There's literally no doubting that. As we move closer and closer to that number one spot, here in number two lies the legendary Abby Wambach from the United States, of course. The top scorer in our country's history with 184 goals in 256 appearances with a goals per match ratio of 0.72 in a career that lasted 14 years from 2001 to 2015. And throughout her club career, she entirely stayed in the United States with Washington Freedom, IX America Woman, Back to the Freedom, Magic Jack, and the Western New York Flash. And Wambach is just, I can't even explain how legendary she is. If you haven't seen highlights of her at least or watch full games, you certainly need to because she is just unbelievably just the one of the best footballers you will ever see. The, just the sheer power she had when she played in her diving headers, especially her goals, aerial threat. She was just legendary in every single aspect of the game. And she is a member of the National Soccer Hall of Fame as well. She's six-time winner of the U.S. Soccer Athlete of the Year Award. And she was literally a starter so many times from us throughout her career. And she got her first cap in 2001. And she is currently the highest all-time goal scorer, as I said, for us on the national team, and second in international goals for both female and male. So the next player will be the highest in female and male history for goals. And she was awarded the 2012 World Player of the Year, and she was the first American woman to win that award in 10 years. And she was also included in the 2015 Time 100 as one of the most influential people in the world. She competed in four World Cups, 2003, 2007, 2011, and 2015, and she was a champion, and she got that so desperately needed World Cup trophy in that final edition. She's been in two Olympics, 2004 and 2012, and she got the gold medal in both, and she played 29 matches, scored 22 goals in these international tournaments, which is just showing how much we truly needed her, and that she steps up when the stage asks her to. And she played college soccer for the Gators and helped them win their first NCAA Division I championship ever in their program history. So that is very amazing. As I said before, she's just so prolific in the air. That's one of her main aspects of her game. And her best goal, I think, still one of my favorite US goals of all time, was in the 122nd minute of the 2011 World Cup quarterfinal against Brazil. We were down by one. We needed the equalizer and stoppage time. I remember Megan Rapinoe's cross that from almost half the field, perfect right to her head. And she just destroyed the net and everyone went crazy. That was just amazing. And in that World Cup, she was awarded the tournament's bronze boot and silver ball and was the first player of either gender to be named the athlete of the year by the Associated Press. And she announced her retirement in 2015, October 27th, after the victory tour. And that was the last game in New Orleans when we played China and lost in a 1-0 game and she also has an autobiography which is next to Carly's book I think you're getting the pattern here if I have all of these autobiographies and it's called forward so if you do want to check it out it was a New York Times bestseller she also has a second book called Wolfpack how to come together unleash our power and change the game and that was based on her viral speech at Barnard College and that was also a New York Times bestseller last year and yeah Abby Wambach truly legendary in every aspect and if you guys do want to see an all Wambach goals video let me know and I will spend hours editing that for you guys. And she is just such a popular player as well and was also on the face of FIFA 16 and was one of the main players that they built the game around. She was really high rated, I think 90, I believe. Yes, 90 rated. I remember playing the FIFA 16 demo, just simming uh, USMNT versus Germany every time. And that was just so fun when I first got to play with us 70 So she's truly a pioneer for women and men all across the sporting world. And even with her contributions throughout other things in life, she's just an amazing individual and truly inspiring. 
And we have made it to the end of our list for today's video. And if you have stuck through this entire super long video, definitely one of the longest I've ever released on my YouTube channel, please comment right now, Cincy12, so I know that you made it to the end. In honor of Christine Sinclair and our respect for her for being the top goal scorer in world football history, leave that. Hashtag Cincy12 in the comments so I know that you stayed and watched this entire video. And if you guys actually comment that and I know you watched this whole video, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate that. You are all the best. And feel free to share this video with your friends and family if they are interested about learning some great facts about women's football. And I promise to bring out more content like this for you guys during this time period, especially since a lot of us are stuck at home. And if you guys want to learn and about football and make the best of your time, I highly recommend you to subscribe and leave a like. That would truly mean the world to me. And if you want to see me be a fanboy of all my favorite teams on Twitter, check that out and Twitch as well at Maxar Football. But to wrap up today's video, we're going to be talking about Christine Sinclair, who has scored 186 goals for Canada in 296 appearances with a goals per match ratio of 0.63. And she started her career in 2000 and has been playing since. And she's just legendary in every way. She's the 14-time winner of the Canada Soccer Player of the Year Award, a two-time Olympic bronze medalist, and is the most capped active international footballer in the world with 296 caps, as I said before. And she's the second player to score at five World Cups, as I said before, with Marta. And she's played over 20 seasons with the national team and has played in five World Cups from 2003 to 2019 and three Olympics from 2008 to 2016. And she's been shortlisted for the World Player of the Year seven times, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2012, and 2016. And she has won championships with three different professional teams, the WPS Championship with FC Gold Pride, the WPS Championship with the Western New York Flash, and the 2013 and 2017 NWSL Championship with Portland Thorns. And she's basically the face of the Portland Thorns and an icon for them. She has scored 137 appearances and has bagged 52 goals for the club. And she is definitely going to stay with them until she retires, in my opinion, and that is very fitting for her because that club is one of the most successful in our country. And she's also won the Lou Marsh Trophy as Canada's Athlete of the Year and the Bobby Rosenfeld Award as Canada's Female Athlete of the Year. And she was inducted into the Canadian Walk of Fame in June 2017, and she was also appointed an officer by the Order of Canada by Governor General David Johnston. So that is also another cool fact to know. And yeah, she's just an icon in every single way, scored so many goals. And her best year was actually in 2007 when she scored 16 goals in 13 appearances. So that is pretty legendary. The ratios have been insane throughout each one. And her best club year has been 24 appearances in 2018 and nine goals for the Thorns. And yeah, her style of play is quite similar to Wambach and she is pretty fast not insane pacey like LaRue or Morgan Press, but she's very well-rounded, physical like Wambach, very intelligent, good at skills, athletic, and she has a really good vision as well. And her finishing is obviously the most accurate thing ever. She just bangs it in the top ends, literally every shot. And she can take free kicks and PKs as well too. She scored a hat trick against us in the 20. 12 Olympics as well and she also what I like about her play style is that she can defend to her hard work similar to Conte but obviously she doesn't play a holding midfielder position but yeah she's really hard working especially on defense even though she plays the farthest up top for Canada and the Thorns that's just an interesting fact to know about Christine Sinclair and yes she's the most successful goal scorer in women's football history and I don't think anyone is even close to getting that for at least another decade, unless Alex Morgan decides to score a 50 billion more goals within the next couple of years. But hey, you never know. You never know. And that is the entire list of women's footballers who have scored over 100 goals. 
and that will wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you so much for sticking through the entire thing if you did do that. Almost one hour of women's football content there. And if you enjoyed it, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel with notifications on. That would truly mean the whole world to me. You can stay updated on all your FIFA 20 content as well as your football content. And I will try my best to get out as much videos as I can during this period and we're going to try out new creative ideas and I really put a lot of time and effort into this video so I truly mean the world to me if you could share it with a friend or your family just anyone who wants to learn about women's football in general and yeah there's a lot of viewers of men's football who don't really watch women's football so if you haven't checked it out yet give it a go once everything starts up again in the whole world and I really hope you enjoyed the video because it was super fun to make and I definitely will continue with the same type of style and edits and design definitely in the future. And yeah, let me know if you have any other suggestions for topics regarding this exact style, informational, sort of a lot of talking. And if you enjoy listening to my voice, I hope you do. And I hope I didn't bore you too much on the subject. Please share it on any social media that would be very much appreciated you can tag me at maxar football on twitter that is where i'm most active and you can also follow my twitch if you want to stay tuned for live streams over there that are non-football related and we still will do football related stuff on there too but thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for watching this video i hope you have an amazing day please stay safe and if you need anything just comment down below and join the discord if you want to talk well thank you so much once again i can't say it enough and i will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.